What's up guys, Owned by Tomato here, and today I have another game of Road to Commander. Um, this is Capture the Flag on Outpost. Uh, it's on Mosh Pit, so just so that I'm going to keep some variety for you guys, you're not going to constantly see, you know, domination, 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 free for all, free for all, free for all, well, anything in huge repetition. I mean, towards the later levels, is when I like to just mess around and go for like Moabs or mess around and level up shotguns and stuff like that. So you might see that a little bit later on in in the series when I get, you know, level 70 or so. Whenever it gets to the point where I'm wanting to do gun challenges to to unlock more XP to get it to get to the max level faster. Right now it doesn't really matter too much. I mean everything I do is gonna be challenge loads of challenge and I'm starting off this match and right before it started Ronnie Ronnie called and asked whether I wanted to guard or defend and so generally since I mean I mean generally you can't really count on your team your random teammates too often uh, especially in mosh pit they kind of suck um, it's not that everyone sucks it's just they don't do the objective. Um, it, I don't. I, I don't understand it, but it. It's just you can't rely on them to. I don't know. Grab a flag or defend a flag whenever you're wanting to go rush out. So I. I decided I was gonna. That, that was. That was a very stupid. Very stupid move. Um, I decided I was gonna stay back and kind of defend the flag. And then I noticed that we have another teammate that's sitting around defending the flag pretty well. He's staying right at the area, uh, not letting anybody touch it, not nothing like that. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to push forward. I don't want this game to be like a 0-0 zero, zero score for you guys. I don't want it to be just completely boring. So I'm going to push up and see what I can do. Um, and I, I've, never, I've never before used this spot, but I noticed that I had teammates that were over in, like, over towards the back of that fence to my left and so that's one of their two spawn points for capture the flag one of their two spawn areas and so I figured if they're all pushed out of that area and they that means that they are generally going to be pushed to this little this little cubby here and so I kinda sat here and patrolled this area while my teammate was patrolling that area over there and it worked out pretty well. I was able to pick up five kills for a predator missile, and I, um, I kind of, I don't know. I, I decided that 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 predator missile. I don't know. Do you ever get a predator missile where, whenever you call it in and you're trying to control it, and it goes like just completely goofy, like the wind just there was like this huge tornado-related gust of wind that just throws it all over the freaking place. Well, I mean, I was trying to go down in a straight path and curve it just a tiny little bit, and it starts going in like a circular manner. I don't know if, it's, if my controller's broken or what, but it was just, uh, it was not working for me, so that's that's why I was embarrassed with my Predator missile. Yeah. Um, I did manage to pick up the attack helicopter. I am not going to call it in this round, because we already have two flag captures now thanks to me finishing off thanks for my teammate grabbing it bringing it all the way there he got grenaded from I don't from a Marty Dom that's what it was from he killed the guy that was over there got grenaded from a moderate Marty Dom and then I picked it up and just ran it all the way home uh, that brings me to a point I think uh, death streaks are just retarded I mean I can't tell you how many times I've been killed by dead man's hand final stand Marty Dom, just stupid stuff. Um, I, I guess I can see if you give them juiced for you know five seconds. Um, I don't know too much about Hollow Point. I've never, you know, you can't really tell if you've been killed by that. But I've I've been killed way too many times by death streaks, and it's just stupid to be re rewarded because you're doing badly. I mean, yes, I understand that you have to cater to everybody's needs, but how I feel is if you're doing badly, just 
badly. I mean, everyone starts out badly. You you don't start out this game or first person shooters in general and just be a god. You start out and you're you have to learn the movements, the guns. If this is your first first person shooter, you have to learn how to aim very well. You have to aim you have to learn everything about the game. And not everyone's gonna be really good right off the bat. And just giving them an advantage for not being as good is just just I it's not not fair. Uh I don't know. I I don't like it at all. <laughs> I think they should just completely take the the, the death streaks out. Um, you know, if you really want to have death streaks in there, do it so that you're not gonna have that much of an advantage. Make it where it goes away after 30 seconds, not where, or maybe after you get your first kill. Like Final Stand, if you get a couple kills and then you die and you've had it, you you go to Final Stand and you can come back. I mean, maybe make it like juiced. Give it only like a five second temporary boost where you just kinda go incredibly fast or you know to get back into action get you back where you need to be but as far as giving them a huge advantage like dropping a grenade where that's gonna just mess up somebody on I don't know team defender like I, I bet if you go into team defender and you just like run like most of the time team defender they take the flag into a building and kinda sit in a corner I bet if you put on Marty Dom and you just straight ran into the building over and over and just let them kill you, maybe ran in holding a grenade, uh, I'm, I guarantee you could get countless numbers of kills just doing that. Um, and I think that's stupid. You shouldn't. You shouldn't just. It just shouldn't be that way. Uh, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and talk about the that, that talk about that the whole video. Uh, I just think it's really dumb. Anyways, so I have managed to do a really decent job, and we, our team, well, someone on our team is grabbing flags and just doing work and just taking care of business as far as capturing flags. So I decided I'm going to be a kill whore. I'm going to kind of just run around and piss them off, and here I realize I accidentally traded my secondary weapon for... Uh, for that M4, which I used all the ammo on that as well, and I end up dying. But that is the end of the game. I I went from being a defense to realizing that either the other team wasn't coming, or we had enough defense on our flag to being just a straight kill whore, uh, camping out their spawn and just getting helicopter predators, UAVs, just kind of being supportive with my kill streaks and just helping my team get that flag and get it home. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. This is not this is another good way to start out the road to commander. I like these two games back to back. Um, we'll see how it goes from here. Later guys.